Okay, so I'm going to be doing this tutorial today on how to get VST plugins inside of Cool Edit Pro. Also, this is going to be the video tutorial for the auto-tune settings for the song Hug by Ray Lavender, which is what I used in the uh, Cool Edit Pro mixing demonstration. Okay, so here's the track right here. Our family is losing this life, so might tell me what we're fighting for. As you can hear, it got some reverb and delay, but I also got a series of other tracks because these are all harmony vocals. But here's the settings right here. First, your input type. I set it to low male. You can pick any one of these. This is for like high voices. This is the outer tenor voice, which is for, you know, mid-range level males. Um, or a female could be that. It don't matter. But I choose low male because I got a low voice. The key. The key scales goes for the instrumental of the song. Now, from what I can hear from the original instrumental of that song. You know, song because there's no in instrumental released yet. But from what I hear, it's in B flat major. See, you just go down to B flat major. And then I just set the retune speed all the way to zero. I go to options. This is usually starts out at 25, so I just put it up to 100 right there. Good toy around with that to get the sound you're looking for. Now, if you want it to sound more, you know, more natural, you just want to just mess around with it to get the sound you're looking for. Try going back on your retune speed. Try bringing this down, you know. But I usually leave it at 100 because I like that T-Pain type effect. And uh, Humanize, I believe what this feature does is it makes longer sustained notes sound more natural. But um, I'll let you hear it and play it with this. Our family is losing this life. Somebody tell me what we're fighting for. Fighting for, fighting for. Mama's crying like every day. How come we just can't love so much hate between us? And here's a little tip for some people out there. If you do know how to sing, okay, and I sung in key, I usually didn't try to go past 50 cents, some parts I did, but if you sing flat, you can get it to grab your voice the way you want it. You just gotta know how to have music theory knowledge. But that's what I did, I sung flat, so it's gonna correct up, you know, it's correct from being flat. And that's how I get mine to sound like it does. Um, but pretty much you gotta sing in key. Our family is losing this life. But those are the settings right there. Okay, the second thing I'm gonna go over. Okay, as you can see here is my control panel for my producer USB microphone. I use that for tutorials to get VST plugins inside of Cool Edit Pro. Here's what you need to do. You need to download a program called Cakewalk VST Adapter. I'll give the download link in the description. But once you install it, here's what you do. You just double click it. Now it's going to say, welcome to the Cakewalk VST configuration wizard. For best results, you should run the wizard each time you install a new VST plugin. To continue, close all other applications and click next. So I'm going to close Cubase here. And this usually takes a long time. If you've got a lot of plugins, it'll take a long time. So what I'll probably do is just pause the video. We'll see. Click next. Here's where you want to click add to add your VST directory. Usually it detects your VST directory already, but... If not, just navigate through your C drive and find it, or whatever hard drive you got it on. You can remove them by clicking remove, click folder default, but I usually leave everything like it is and just click next. As you can see, it's scanning through all my VSTs. So this is going to take a while, but so I will pause the recording here. As you can see, it's still scanning there. It's going to take probably a long time. Another thing I want to go over real quick is you might have to do this a couple times if you've got a lot of plugins because as you can see it messes up. But I mean you just start it over and continue to do it. Another thing is if when you're inside Cool Edit Pro, if it crashes every time you load a DirectX plugin, you want to just go up to right here to Effects, Refresh Effects List. You know, and that's, that'll do that there. Some plugins are not fully compatible with it yet, but, you know, most of them are. Okay, so when it's done scanning, you want to go in, go into Cool Edit Pro here. Hold on, let me stretch it out. Go up to Effects, and we can click Refresh Effects. It's going to rescan all your effects, all your DX effects and, you know, the built-in effects. This may take a while, if, you know, if you got slower computers. This computer is not so fast, but it don't take real long either, considering the amount of plugins that I do have. And if you guys want any more settings for auto-tune or anything, just hit me up and I'll try to do a video as soon as I can on it. Or any other question about music production. If you have any question you want me to answer in the video, just hit me up and I can answer it for you. But it's done refreshing them. So, let's go. Let's see. Let me make sure it worked. Okay, I don't think it worked completely uh, because it kept crashing on my computer. But that's how you do it. You open it up and then you click, you know, refresh effects and it should be in here. 